I did do a big job for Orange at one stage, and I ran an internal strategic think tank. Lots of conversations about what happens in the world and where it's going to go. Since then, I've been working on my own. I do some consultancy, I do some speaking, and I work with a lot of different clients. Through those years, some things continue to turn up. Same issues, some themes, some trends. And this is largely the things I'm seeing or hearing on a regular basis, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Some stuff that continues to be present in the conversations I have, and that quite simply just, just won't go away. I've divided it into four areas. I think you can all see that quite easily. The world, our world, my world, and then at the end, the X, because if you haven't noticed, it's a treasure map. <laughs> it's a treasure map. At the end, X marks the spot, which is sort of, so what? So what? Somebody stands up and talks to you about future trends and talks to you about big themes. The question still is, so what? What are you going to do with it? I would say that there's this phrase, which is, it's called new normal. I'm sure I'm not the only person today who's going to talk about it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that there's nothing I'm giving you that's particularly new information. It might be stuff you've heard before. But this thing about new normal has come at me again and again and again. When I talk to individuals about, you know, when might, when might your situation return? When might it get back to what, something that you knew before? And they say, I'm just not sure that it will. This sort of feels like the new normal. This feels like the space we're in. And the new normal is one that is volatile. It is definitely, definitely uncertain. It's complex and it's ambiguous. Welcome to the new normal. <laughs> it's difficult to operate in that environment, but that's the environment that we have. I did work for a while in the mobile technology space, and um, you, know, you talk about building new technologies, and you, you're going to make those applicable for the UK, you're going to make those applicable for Europe, you're going to make those applicable for the US. Not necessarily so for the future. If it's new tech, it might work in those places, but it damn sure better work in China or India. 24-7 is about communicating and how people are communicating. They want to communicate 24-7 or rather, let me say it differently, want to be able to communicate 24-7 or be able to access things 24-7. My favorite, my favorite example of this, my absolute favorite tool on the internet is um, I live in Kingston in Surrey and my local tip has a tip cam. <laughs> you, right? You're laughing because you know what happens. You've ever done any trimming in your garden, you finish doing that, and you go to the tip, and you wait in a queue that's about four miles long. I don't anymore. Because 24-7, there's a tip cam available to me. It's not important in my life, don't get me wrong. I don't look at it on a regular basis, but when I have stuff I want to take to the dump, I look at tip cam. That's an appropriate use of 24-7. Do you follow? Yeah, you're laughing, but it makes sense. <laughs> Secretly, you're all going, tip cam. <laughs> <coughs> You're going to write to my council. That's what you're doing. 